Vietnamese President Nguyen Xuân Phuc now the latest official caught up in the government's crackdown on corruption. A local media report Mr Phuc handed over his resignation after weeks of speculation put his position under the spotlight. More on this, Dr Lee Hong Hia, a senior fellow for Vietnam Studies at the, at the IC's Yusuf Ishak Institute, joins us now. Dr Lee, now the official reason for Mr Phuc's resignation is he's being blamed for what his subordinates did when he was Prime Minister prior to April 2021. Is there, however, an unstated and unofficial reason that has prompted his resignation? Uh, OK, thank you for having me. Uh, so, yes, the official reason is he has to take responsibility for some corruption scandals that took place under his watch when he was still the Prime Minister. But I think uh, there are other unstated reasons, and I think the main reason is that uh, his wife and some of his family members are uh, allegedly involved in some of the corruption scandals. But in the official statements, uh, the party didn't mention these corruption issues because I think they want to save face for him and also to protect the party's reputation and public image. They don't want the public to believe or to think that even the top leaders of the party are corrupt. And that's why they didn't mention uh, the corruption issue. But I believe that the corruption issues uh, related to his wife and his family members is the main reason here. Well, in a way, uh, technically, uh, a man should not be blamed for the failings of his family, whether it's his wife or in this case, the nephew of his wife being involved in COVID test kits, uh, inflating the prices there. Uh, this expansion of the notion of corruption and therefore punishing people for it, it's going to be affecting many people in Vietnam. We're looking at uh, official figures here, 4,600 individuals being targeted, over 2,500 cases, almost 300 of party members being uh, disciplined in just the first half of 2022. Now, this kind of widespread crackdown is it not going to be creating significant instability within the party, not just party, but also in business circles? I think there may be some resentments uh, from the, those people who are affected by this uh, anti-corruption campaign, but I think the party is thinking about the big picture, how to fight corruption more effectively. And I think one of the ways for them to do so is to take uh, officials accountable for not only what they are doing, but also what their family members and their uh, subordinates are doing as well. So they want to set an example, a precedent, uh, by taking uh, the president and some uh, other officials, including the two uh, former deputy prime ministers. Uh, they want them to step down uh, and to take responsibilities for problems that happened under their watch. And going forward, if they can institutionalize this practice, I think it will be good uh, for the party's efforts to um, fight corruption. All right, you're right. They should be institutionalizing how to manage this. But I, I'm, I'm looking for any signs of whether they are in fact doing this. As an example, October last year, a real estate conglomerate, the chairwoman and three of her company officials were detained over financial misconduct. And of course, the immediate fallout from that was a run, a bank run on a privately run bank in Vietnam. Of course, that was halted after a brief period. But you can imagine these kinds of crackdowns possibly sparking even greater uh, chaos, disruption in both business and government. Do you see the Vietnam Communist Party doing enough to manage how they are carrying out this kind of corruption crackdown? Yes, I think they are aware of the potential consequences if they uh, crack down on corruption, especially when the uh, arrested or prosecu prosecuted uh, people are uh, in the business sector or in key government positions that has uh, influence on the business sector. So I think so far they have done this in a very measured and well calculated and well ordinated manner so that they can control the uh, implications so far, I, I don't think that uh, it has created a lot of chaos in the market. There are some short-term problems, but I believe that the party leadership considered as a short-term pain, uh, and they can uh, pay this short-term price to gain the longer-term uh, uh, ends, that is to control corruption and to uh, improve uh, the transparency within the government and also uh, in the market as well. And so okay. that's why they didn't, 
um, not not only target you know the officials but also some business people who you know uh, did business in an illegal manner. Oh, thanks so much. Joining us this evening, Dr. Lee Hyung Kyat, Senior Fellow for Vietnam Studies at the ICS Yusuf Ishak Institute. Thanks so much for joining us this evening.